Hey guys, it's Kara from Carabex Style. So today's video, I'm going to kind of combine my clothing and other stuff and makeup haul for the month into one video. And I'll try to make this as quick as possible because I have like a lot of things to go through. But so this is going to be pretty much everything I had got for the month of April. I haven't really done like a whole lot of shopping because I've been trying to watch my excuse me, my spending because I'm going to Chicago next month and I really want to have some fun there. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first couple things I actually had got when I went to um, the Tampa outlets recently. So I'm obsessed with like Nike like workout sneakers and I love to get like my sneakers in the Nike outlet there. So these are like a kind of like orangish neon color and um, they were like $35 with an extra 20 or 25% off. So like they came to like $30 and these are like so comfortable. I wear these like when I do spin. I don't have the actual special shoes for spin because I prefer to wear sneaks. But so I've already started wearing these and I absolutely love them. And then, um, so this one's a little bit wrinkled because I wore it to work on Friday. So please excuse the wrinkles. But this shirt's from Gap Outlet and it says Adventure on it. And these were, I believe, like 70% off. So they were like 6 or $7 or whatever. So I love that one and I'm probably going to wear that to um, Chicago as well. And then I actually hauled one of uh, a print just like this in the last video for the month of March, but they had another color in the um, camo tee. So this is kind of like more like a beigey, like pink camo, and this one was like six or seven dollars as well. So I just like I love these tees. They're so easy to wear, wash and wear. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like very like burpy today. <clears throat> Um, but they're so comfortable and I love them and I mean for six or seven dollars like you can't pass it up okay so then um, moving on I really wanted to downsize my wallet because just like with traveling and stuff like I have like this little like um, Vera Bradley sip thing that I use and I keep my change in it when I'm not using it for travel but I was like I'm just gonna get like myself a little card holder for traveling and stuff so I got this one from Michael Kors. It was, I think, like $27 or so. But it has three slots three slots for your credit cards and then a clear one on the back. I took my license out of there so you didn't see all that stuff. But that's what I keep in this one. And then um, also I got this cute little tote. So I had seen this bag um, when I was there the last time. And I like loved it, but I had bought that cute little like light pink um, blush colored um, crossbody last time. So I was like, okay, Carol, I'm like, you only need like one bag right now. But I kept thinking about this little tote. So when my mom and I went back, I was like, oh, I want to see if they still have this tote. So they didn't have it in like the regular price section. It was actually in the clearance section. And um, I got, it was previously when I looked at it the first time, um, 60% off and then this time I got it for 70% off so I got this one for $90 it's so cute and I love the like kind of like fruit punchy color of it okay so let's do Target Target I actually got this shirt it says Dulk Mom they have a whole bunch of like really cute shirts right now especially with Mother's Day coming up they actually have one too that says Cat Mom which is white which I'll probably end up getting too because I am a cat mom and then okay let's finish the clothing stuff I found this cute necklace on clearance. So this was on clearance for $5.98. And I just love the kind of like tealish color of it. So pretty. Um, I like, you never know like when you might need like a cute little like necklace just to throw on or whatever. And then I found this dress on clearance as well. I've been wanting like more like spring and summertime dresses just because like I'm kind of bored of like everything I have. Like typical, right? Anywho, so this is a cute little dress. It's like pretty, it kind of comes like right above like my knees or whatever. You can wear it off the shoulder and it's like super stretchy. It's like smocked and then the um, sleeves are pretty much smocked too and they're super stretchy. And it looks super cute on. And this was on clearance for $16.08. They have like such odd clearance prices. What the, what 
the heck? Okay, and then I had some coupons that I wanted to use um, from like some of the beauty boxes I had got. So I had one for $3 off anything Olay Luminous. So I went ahead and got their micellar water. This was $6.99, so with my coupon it was like $3.99. Um, but I just like that it has like the pump thing on the top because at the say yes to cucumbers one I have right now I'm using has the pump too. So I figured I'd try it. Their other stuff was a little bit like more expensive than I wanted to buy into right now. Um, but hopefully this is good. It's supposed to, it's tone perfecting. So I'm excited to really try that. And then I also got the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treatment. This is the one minute hair mask with avocado extract. So this one is supposed to, um, I put this in my hair actually last night. So this little area that I talk about all the time that whenever I wash it, it comes out like super frizzy. It is like honestly really helped. And I wanted to try it last night before I actually like hauled it and stuff because I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, I'll let you know how it is and like blah, blah, blah. No. This is amazing. They have a few different um, ones actually out there right now. And um, I got this one for the frizz part of this. And it definitely helped. It didn't make it 100% better. I'm not going to like, you know, praise the gods on this one or anything. But it was like three something and it honestly worked really, really well. So I'm a fan of this and I will keep buying this. And I think this is a new product that just came out recently. And then I also got more of the NYX Matte Finish um, Setting Spray. I'm addicted. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. And then I had a dollar off Saint, anything St. Ives. So I decided to try this coconut coffee scrub. I surprisingly like don't wash my face in the morning, which I really should. But um, this smells amazing. Like again, usually not a huge fan of coconut, but the coffee smell is like over, like, overpowering believe me I actually washed my face with this this morning and it's it's like the perfect amount of grit to it like you all know that I love the grit cleansers and exfoliators so I will always have this now in my beauty routine and I'm going to use this in the morning hoping that the coffee like actually really helps to wake me up in the morning but this is um, deeply exfoliates and leaves skin fresh and glowing. What more can you honestly ask for? And then I also, um, I watched another um, beauty vlogger, YouTuber, and they were talking about the L'Oreal Brow Stylus um, Shape and Fill Brow Pencil as a dupe for the, um, either the Anastasia or the um, Too Faced one. So right now I have the Too Faced Brownie one which I actually have in my brows right now. And I really like it, but for a $10 dupe, I would be all about that. So I got the color Brunette 415. So I'm actually really excited to try this. I'll hold this one up a little bit closer for you so you can see, but it comes with a little spoolie on the end and then the shape of it looks exactly like the Too Faced one. So I'm actually really excited to try this one. And um, for a $10 dupe, like sometimes you just can't pass that up. Okay, so the next couple of things are actually from like TJ Maxx and like a couple of like off price places. So I got another of the Batiste um, dry shampoo. So this one I got in Bell's Outlet and it was on clearance for $6. Or sorry, I actually got this in Marshall's. Take that back. Um, and it was on clearance for $6. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a giant bottle for $6. So I was like, <laughs> gotta get that. And then one of the girls from work actually gave me this. So these are the silicone makeup sponge duo from K Kala. I haven't tried silicone makeup sponges. I've kind of heard mixed reviews. They obviously don't soak up the foundation like, um, the actual like beauty blender type sponges or the real technique sponges so i'm interested to like try this i haven't tried them yet but you never know it might actually work really well so with that being said i actually bought a real techniques um sponge so this is the miracle sculpting sponge 
um, for dewy um, highlight and contour. So I live and die by the little orange one from Real Techniques, the um, their version, version, I guess, of the Beauty Blender. But this one was on sale in Marshalls for $2.99. Yummy. Okay. And then I actually um, was out comp shopping for work one day, um, and I was at a Ross. And I found this thing. It's the Dr. Scholl's Active Series Blister Defense Anti-Friction Stick. I've had this before, and, like, I guess they, like, kind of did away with it. But I, like love this thing like and I know they have like the like foot action or whatever in like running stores and like Dick's Sporting Goods but I absolutely love this I used to get the band-aid one too and for some reason like they've discontinued like all of these so I actually found this in Ross for $3.99 and if they had more I would have bought more because I am like just like I'm like a, on the last little nub of my stick that I had um so I'm really excited that I found this. Okay, so this is some TJ Maxx stuff that I found recently. Oh, actually this is from Marshalls too. So this is the Daily Concepts um, Your your Stretch Washcloth with Smart Technology. So I actually have the Daily Concepts um, Beauty like Facial one that I got in like one of my... Um, Itsy bags or whatever, or was it birch box? I don't know, I can't remember. But um, this is just like their washcloth version. So this was actually on clearance for like four dollars, and I literally, honestly, love the facial one. I think that it has made my face feel so much better, and I think they're only like eight dollars in the store. So this one, um, so you, it actually comes with an, uh, a suction cup thing, so you can suction it to your wall so you can dry it out. But um, I'm excited to try this because it helps see it. I mean, the facial one is amazing, so I can just imagine what the, the body one is like. And then I actually found some of the Redken Color Extend Magnetics Conditioner. So this is the conditioner I use with the Color Magnetic Shampoo. And this was in TJ Maxx for $9.99. I love that stuff. And then, so this thing I wanted to try. So this is the L'Oreal Revitalift Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Night Cream Moisturizer. So this fights wrinkles and firms skin in four weeks, softer, more supple skin overnight. So this was in TJ Maxx for $10.99. And I just really wanted to try like an actual, um, like moisturizer to try to help with some of like my crow's feet here and then like my under eye area. I just want to like be a little bit more firm and I want to like make sure I'm taking care of my skin as I get older. So this is the one I'm going to try now and see how I like it. I've gotten like little samples of the Olay one in um, some of my beauty boxes, but I'm just like kind of not sure. So, but for $10.99 I was like, I might as well try it and see if I like it. Okay, so then I actually found this one yesterday. This is the Lorac um, Tantalizer Baked Bronzer Golden Glow. So this was in TJ Maxx for $7.99. And this is what it looks like. And um, it actually comes with like a little like um, brush thing, which uh, kind of probably sucks. Um, I definitely probably use like something else. But let me see like... It's a nice, like, it's definitely very, like, golden-esque. You can kind of see it, like, right there. So, I thought that was, like, a nice shade for $7.99. And it's kind of, like, almost like a highlight, too. So, depending on where you can put it, you can kind of, like, blend it in with your contour or make it a little more of your highlight. So, I'm excited about that find. They actually had a lot of like Lorac stuff in the TJ Maxx by me yesterday. Um, but I just like, the other stuff that they had, I just really wasn't like, eee, I need this. Um, okay, so then the next thing I found in TJ Maxx was the Anastasia um, Lip Gloss. And this is in color Maui. I actually wore this in one of my um, videos I filmed. I think it was like last week or the week before. So I'm like obsessed with this color. I think it's like so perfect for summertime, spring and summer actually. 
I'm going to swatch it here below the tantalizer. It's like so pretty on the lips too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, $7.99 for that one. And I thought, so I had seen one of these yesterday in TJ Maxx too. And it was like soft pink color. And I was like, oh, I think that's the color that I have. But now I kick myself because it's not. I have Maui. Guess I gotta go back. <sighs> okay, so the next thing is the Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lip Color. I don't know if I've, this is in color taffy. So this is what it looks like. I don't think I've tried this one. And it's just like so exciting when you're in like TJ Maxx and you take them out. Like this only got a little bit damaged because of the, the stick was actually rubbing against the side of the tube. But it's like so exciting when you take it out and like nobody's like swatched it or anything and you're like, yes. Yes, people, no need to touch it because it's gross if you do. So there it is right below the nice like light pinkish color. And it's definitely like very glossy too. It doesn't look super glossy like in the tube, but when you actually like swatch it out, it's definitely glossy. I like these Too Faced ones. I think I've gotten a different one different color in this one as well and then I go through notebooks like crazy at work so I got this cute little one and it just says busy bee on it I am in need of a new notebook coming up soon so this was I think $4.99 okay so the last little bit is so I watch um another youtuber and she swore by this morphe continuous setting spray and how like well it worked for her and when i went to go on and buy it they were actually sold out a while back so i had checked back and they had restocked and everything and i have to say i am not a fan of this i do like that when you like spritz it it is like a continuous spray but setting wise and it smells amazing it smells absolutely like amazing um but i can't honestly say that this set my face better than like the nyx matte finish like this didn't make it matte like how i like it so i probably would not be buying this again but i think if you're looking for more of like a dewy finish or just like a really light setting spray this would probably be good for you i think it was like 15 dollars as well so but i'm always down to try different things but I probably won't be buying that one again. Love all the other Morphe stuff though. Okay, so some of my recent uh, drugstore finds is um, that same um, beauty blogger. Um, and you can tell I've been using this one because it, I am like addicted. I'm like, it's like crack for me right now. So this is the Covey, Covey Girl. Cover Girl Healthy Elixir um, Foundation. So I am like obsessed.